In this video, I will show you how you can compute the Dobbin Watson statistic. On the screen, we have the formula to get that done. You will need the sum of squared difference of residuals and the sum of squared residuals. For the Dobbin Watson statistic, as can be seen from the formula box, is dividing the figure in cell B2 by the figure in cell B3. That is, divide the sum of squared difference of residuals by the sum of squared residuals and you get the Dobbin Watson statistic. So let's get started. You have to get a regression out from which you now obtain the residual value. On the screen here, I'll be working with the quarterly data from 1970 quarter one down to 1991 quarter four. You can see it here. So in total, I have 88 observations and I'll be just uh, performing a bivariate regression with my log PCE as a dependent variable and the log PDI as the independent variable. So let's get started. Click on data, maneuver to data analysis, click on regression. The regression dialog box opens up. In the input white range, go to cell B2 and copy out all observations in cell in column B2. So for the input white range, copy out all observations in column B2. As you are doing that, the input white range is being updated. Click on input X range. Go to column C. Click from log of PDI, that is make sure you capture the heading and scroll it all down to the last observation. As you are doing that also, the input X range box is being updated. Once that is done, check the label box, check the confidence interval box, and make sure that the residual box is checked because it's the residual that will be needed to compute the Dobbin Watson statistic. For the output range, I'm indicating to Excel to populate my output into cell E2. Everything looks okay, so I click OK. And here I have my regression output. And the most important part of this output is right here, where I have the residual value. Like I mentioned earlier on, it is the information from the residual value that is needed to compute the W. Watson statistic. Because I have two information here, predicted log of PCE and residual. So this is all I need. So I'm going to copy out the residuals for the 88 observations into a different worksheet and show you how you can calculate the Dobbin Watson statistic. It's really simple, you don't need a fancy software to get this done or any other software. So here I have them. So I'm going to use the formula indicated on the screen to show you how you can get it done. So first thing, I have to obtain the difference of residuals. So I'm going to create a column here, titled it difference of residuals. I will also require the sum of square difference of the residual. So that's another column, sum of square difference of the residuals. Then again, I need the sum of squared residuals. So all these information are needed for the Dobbin Watson statistic to be computed. So sum of squared residuals. So let's start populating all the cells. The first one to get done is the difference of residuals. So a very simple way for you to do that, copy out all the residuals like I'm doing. Take it down to the last cell. Then bring it to this next column and just drop it down by one cell. Because you are taking the differences between the figure in column F and the figure in column E. Delete this one. Scroll to the last observation and delete the figure in column F, the last figure in column F. So let's take the difference, deduct the figure in column F from the figure in column E. So put your equal sign, if not, Excel will not run, E3 minus F3. And in column H, I will need the sum of the squared difference of this residual. So here, I will just simply do equals 
g3 times g3 that is taking the square of the figure in column g3 so this is what i have so all i need to do is to copy this one out and just populate the entire cell so let's go to the bottom figure and total it up so here auto sum so that's my figure for the sum of square difference of residuals i have points 0092 0.009250 so let's compare with what i have earlier so you can see it's the same 0 0.00925 again let's um get the sum of squared residuals i'll return this one back so the sum of squared residuals is simply taking the square of all the figures in column e so that'll be equals e2 times e2 the first observation so all i need to do is just double click here and everything is populated auto summit and i have point 0.0162 let's confirm whether it's what i have up here it's exactly what i have here so i've computed the sum of squared difference of residuals and also computed the sum of squared residuals so to obtain the Durbin Watson statistic, simply divide the figure in column B2 with that in column B3, and there you have it. And if you look at the figure of the sum of square residuals, it's exactly what you have in your regression outputs. So that will give you a clue whether your computation is right or not. So that's a very simple video on how you can compute Durbin Watson statistic, and like I said, is the same result you will obtain whether you are using eViews or Stata or any other analytical package out there. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos from Crunch Econometrics.